The second period has been played, and that's the fun part. We now look forward to the third. Through two periods, here are the shots on goal. Get ready. 24 for Montreal and 22 for the Maple Leafs. Period over, rest time has come, intermission is here. Opening face-off of the third period has started it. Sent to the opposite corner by Markov. To Kadri. Moved up the side by Van Riemsdyk. <laughs> oh, big rebound here. Rebound. Deflected. Oh, he scores! Second of the game. What a performance. I'm not sure this is good, Doc. Did he redirect this with his glove or not? They'll take a peek. The whole crowd exhales all at the same time. Now they can cheer. The reviewed goal is now considered a good goal. Gets the puck, center gets high marks for the tie-up. That one's cornered on the dump. Picks it up in his own end. Chip to Polak. Takes that pass. Wonderful save on the redirect. Got it on his stick in the slot. Terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. Take it to the slot. Riley slashed. Ooh, that's going to be a penalty. Propelled to Bozak. Slid to Lupo. On the delayed penalty, the change is made and the extra. A magnificent pad save. Placanitz getting a penalty for slashing. It's two minutes. Oh, that's a blatant slash, Doc. Anytime that you slide your bottom hand up your stick and swing your stick, you're going to the box. The Leafs get their first power play of the game. Good job tying the man up on the faceoff. Teammate comes in. Price decided to cover. Subban's looking for some trouble here. Hurry up already. Drop your gloves. A little over three minutes have passed. The Maple Leafs just keep building on that earlier lead. Their advantage is three. Can he generate something? He's got it, but has to get rid of it. Looks ahead to start something. To Van Riemsdyk. On to Kadri. It's a two on two. Might be an opportunity here. Picked up in the attacking zone. He got a piece of it, but it missed. The puck is fielded now by Pacioretty. Toronto's back to play in their own end as the clock ticks down on the power play. To Riley. Many yards gained to Parento. To Van Riemsdyk. Van Riemsdyk's had a great offensive night. Big pad saves. Still time on this power play, but not much. That covers some acreage to Van Riemsdyk. One-timer, wide of the net! Near the boards, Montreal's gotten back even. Penalty kill to Subban. Laid on to Gallagher. Chip to Beaulieu. Cranks one. 
and he missed it. He oh, what a terrific save in close. He missed opportunity from this close in. Chipped along the boards to Ponick. Good save there. Fires! Closed off effectively and sealed. Puck collected back behind the net by Petrie. He gains the zone. Back in his defensive end to get it. Can he generate something from there? Wrist shot. To Gilbert. A shot. Nice job with the pad that time. To Riley. To Polak. Muscled long to Holland. Grab wide. Tipped in, and they'll change lines. Laid behind the net to Riley. Good distance on that one to Parento. Corralled by P.K. Subban. To Cassian. To De La Rose. To Cassian. Cranks a shot. Kick that one away. To Phaneuf. Long lead pass to Van Riemsdyk. Picks it up in his own end. Propelled to Markov. And he slides it through mid-ice. Blue line control got his pad on that one. Slides it to the point to Markov. Out in the slot. Terrific pad save. To Lupul. Lupul's team has had their way tonight. He's got two of their goals. Lop back into the opposite corner. Diagonal play here. Played in the corner by Ponick. At the, he beat everything but the post. Looks ahead to start something. Moved along and in. Back in his defensive end to get it to Petrie, between the blue lines. It's dumped in. Up against the glass right now. To Winnick. Carries it up the wing. It's an odd man rush, it's a three on two. Wow, what a glove save! We go down to the benches, it's Ray Ferraro. Van Riemsdyk's had an almost perfect night. Prominent since the puck has been dropped the very first time. Three goals in any night means you've had an almost perfect game. He's been impossible to miss out there, Ray. Face-off, he ties his man up, and so the puck goes to his team. Oh, and he's hammered. There's a phrase in hockey, hit or be hit. That's exactly what happened. In the glove. And he'll hold on. This is the same every time these teams play each other. They don't like each other, and the physicality never wanes as the game moves into the middle portion. Just a hair under four minutes remaining here in the third. Toronto's offense continues to hum. Their advantage is three. Between the blue lines, gains the zone. Pass to the slot. Oh, that one hit someone on the way. 
gets across, looks over his options. Brings a shot, good pad stops. Driven toward center in the shadow of the boards by Cassian. One timer, gloved. A cover and play is stopped. Pretty routine stop. You can see why everybody learns the butterfly when they're a young kid. Takes away the bottom of the net. Montreal's got that win. They score! They only trail by a pair. Gallagher's ability to be able to follow that puck to the stick and redirect it and score. Bernier's not able to keep his body in front of the puck once it's tipped. There's no way he's going to catch up to it. The Canadians have closed the gap to just two. And there is time here in the third period to get another one or maybe get two and get this game back even. And they get it. Good strength on the tie-up. Picks it up in his own end. Swept on to Subban. Using the point. Score! Two straight goals. Well, he had a lot of time and space there to let that wicked shot go from far out. That is a heavyweight shot. Now the goalie's in good position, Eddie, but you shoot it like that, you're not going to stop it. The Canadians are now back to within one with the scoring of that goal. And there's plenty of time for one more goal in the third. Toronto's got another faceoff win. He takes it up that side to Parento. This team's in a real close one here, Doc. One of the reasons has been his passing ability. He has been special here tonight. Zone to zone to Markov. Looks ahead to start something. That covers some acreage to Van Riemsdyk. Locks on that to Parento. Slid to Pacioretty. Moves up the wing. Not a problem there. Charged up the wing by Kadri. Shoots. Turned aside off the pad. To Subban. To Smith Pelly. Nicely into the zone. Blocked with the pad. Right winged to Lupo. Long lead pass to Pond. Score! That empty net goal will send the fans to the exits. That's a good feeling on the bench. You've locked it up now with the empty netter. Maple Leafs with a center ice face-off win. Let's it go. Got a piece of that one. The game is over. It is a calculated risk that you have to take in the sport of hockey. You may be trailing, but you've got a chance to at least tie it up by pulling your goalie. When you do that, you have to get the goal scorers out on the ice, just not able to cash in with the extra attacker. So that is it for this one. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. For Eddie and Ray, Doc saying good night all.
never says that it's not much further. Kiss the sunlight on her face. Let's say goodbye to this old and broken town where we fell in love. Yeah.